Hello friends, today is day 11 of Best of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And today the sketch was designed by Allison Davis for Scrapbook Generations. Um, you should be able to see a little picture here of the sketch that I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to, you. yesterday I used the same kit um, Sun Kiss by Coco Vanilla Studios and we went to the pool a couple of days ago and I got I snapped a few photos so I think this is going to end up being a two-page layout um, this will just be the let me grab the other layout so you can see what I'm talking about I don't know so since it since it goes together I mean the papers obviously coordinate because they're from the same collection and manufacturer so i was thinking of just using this one photo and the strips of paper that you see in the sketch use this i don't know if that if i'm gonna end up putting these next to each other i don't i probably will <laughs> it might not look like a two-page sketch or a two-page layout but I mean, it coordinates, so they'll look good in the album next to one another. So this is the one I did yesterday. Okay, what I'm going to do is cut down about a quarter of an inch on two sides because I want a white border all the way around my layout. And I like that because... I'm going to map my photo in white because it it gives a good contrast because I'm going to be using this really bold, bright paper and I want the photo to obviously be the center stage. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to mat it on some white cardstock to give it a little more presence on the page. So, let me get those laid down. I'm going to give this one a pretty decent sized mat. Usually I don't make my mats that thick. But, like I said, that striped paper is super loud and I want the photo to, I don't want it to have to be competing too much with that bold paper. Let me get this laid down. as straight as I possibly can using the eyeball method. <laughs> straight enough, even enough, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to trim this off about right here. And that is going to be the striped paper you see in the sketch. Mm. Let's see. I feel like I want to make that a little bit more narrow, like not so much. And maybe. I'm only putting adhesive in the center because I probably will be doing some, a lot of layering on this one. That's I loved this sketch because of the, the you see the star clusters <clears throat> on the side. That's a lot of potential for layering. I'm going to put this about right here. <clears throat> okay. My 
photo will go right here. <clears throat> and Allison sketch, she has two, like two and a half by three and a half photos. And I didn't, I don't need two photos for this layout. I don't feel like, or for, you know, because I've already scrapbooked all the other photos from this. This is just the big main focal photo, but I'm going to put it about right there. And now for the fun part, not that this wasn't all fun, but thinking she has a little cluster over in this area. So I may end up using something like that. We'll see. I'm not committing to that yet. And my title. I like this. Sunshine State of Mind. But I like this too. So which one do I want to use? I feel like this one probably stands out better than if I put that there. It's too, um, too samesy. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a frog in my throat today. So I'm thinking about like that. And then over here, all the flowers that come in, came in this uh, die cut pack are going to get a lot of use over here. So what I'm going to do is start with my biggest florals and then go down to my smaller florals. Let's see, I need a different color there. I want to kind of ex alternate between colors. I don't want all the same colors right next to one another. Maybe right there. And here. And then there are these cute little bathing suit pieces like this. Thought maybe like that. And these little flip flops are cute. Do something like that. And then there's this little mm, bikini, which I don't like right there because it's right up next to another blue flower. So maybe. Or it was up next to a pink flower is what I meant. So something like that. That's cute. And then some of these little twig things sticking out. Something like that. And there's a lot of greenery. Should I? Maybe. We'll see. Right now I'm just kind of laying it out to get an idea and then I will fast forward the video once I start adhering so you don't have to sit and watch me do this all over again in real time. So something that's getting a little much. That's getting a little much and I think it's the greenery that's I need them tucked farther in there. But if I do that, it's going to all get messed up. I can't do like Janet does where I lay everything out so perfectly <laughs> where it looks like a completed layout. Mine shifts around and gets on my nerves. So I can't do like that. And my hands are not quite as sturdy as hers or steady. I mean, I don't think because my stuff gets all shifted around. So I'm thinking maybe not the banner thing. Mm, and that way I can put the date right there. Oh, underneath, maybe like that. Cause I like that little banner piece. Mm, not crazy about that. When in doubt, just add more florals. <laughs> How about that? So something like this. And maybe that will go live right there. See if I do that. I don't know. 
Now I'm thinking this would work better. And just pop it up so it shows up better. I kind of like that all kind of squished together. I love my technical terms, squished. <laughs> And I think that is going to do it for me. I'm pretty sure that that's how I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this and start uh, gluing stuff down.